Supermetrics side, my name is Riku Mikkonen, and I'm the product marketing manager for Supermetrics for BigQuery and other data warehousing products. Uh, I've got a background in information systems, and I worked with product marketing management for a while now, but now we're at Supermetrics. So hope to have a good webinar with you all today. But let's talk about today's agenda first. So first of all, let's today we'll talk about what is the marketing data landscape, like why are things changing and how should you respond to it? Then a short introduction to data warehousing, and then we get to the beef of the whole webinar, and that's the live demo. So and if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. We have a Q&A session at the end of this. But of course, if you have any lingering questions, feel free to send them over through the chat. Anyways, let's start first at what is Supermetrics. So Supermetrics is a company founded in Helsinki. Uh, and we do marketing data pipelines. So in short, we could say that basically our core product is creating marketing data pipelines. So we take from different data sources like LinkedIn, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, we take the raw marketing data from them and we transfer them and make them available in different data destinations, such as Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, different visualization BI tools like da Google Data Studio, and then, of course, into databases and data warehouses, such as Google Bing Query and Snowflake. So we specialize in transferring marketing data, and we also know the marketing data landscape pretty well because the data landscape is changing. Back in the day, you could have a few spreadsheets, and you would use a few different platforms. But the situation is now completely different right now because the whole landscape looks like this. This is from the MarTech 5000. There are now more and more marketing technology tools that produce data. And for a marketer or a data engineer to follow all that data, it is pretty cumbersome because you would have to combine, see different uh, options, see different availabilities, where to attribute which. That is a difficult thing to do, especially with the older tools. So we here at Supermetrics have found that a solution to find and answer that data warehouse and that data landscape problem is a data warehouse, and especially for marketers. So what is a data warehouse? For First of all, when you think about a warehouse, what do you think? It's got neat shelves and a lot of boxes with different things in it organized, hopefully organized. And basically, that is what a data warehouse. A modern data warehouse lives in the cloud. It's basically like Google BigQuery. They run natively in the cloud. And they provide data ready for consumption. So data stored in a data warehouse has been already processed and cleaned and transformed for use in different analytical applications, whereas in a data lake, you would have data in its raw form, and that would be then fed into different data science applications. A data warehouse also provides access for anyone. So basically, any business user can easily access any type of data stored in a data warehouse. And then, of course, a modern data warehouse it scales automatically. So you can store vast amounts of data in a data warehouse that's stored in the cloud. And basically, all storage resources are scaled up. So the more you store, the more storage you have available at your disposal with just a few clicks. And if you need to crunch data using the data warehouse, the system also scales up with your needs. Now. When we talk about the marketers and how the marketers can benefit from a data warehouse, well, there are three key concepts that you should take into account. First of all, you can take the full ownership of all your marketing data. Uh, when we think about when you store marketing data, usually that's stored in like different platforms, different 
systems that you might not have full control over. Say, Facebook ads, for example, they have a retention policy so that your data is purged after a set amount of time. But with a marketing data warehouse, you can just pull all that data from your different advertising platforms, store them in your data warehouse, and you don't have to worry that you don't lose any data in between. And of course, because we're talking about the size and scale of a data warehouse, you can basically take data from multiple different sources. So you don't have to just take data from one source. You can take data from different sources, say, from website analytics, e-commerce, uh, digital marketing, and you can take all of that data and then start combining that data and creating reporting with that. And that can give you even more bigger insights. And the best part is that since a data warehouse runs in the cloud, such as Google BigQuery runs in the Google Cloud, you can have the cloud resources at your available. So you can store more data than ever before, and you can make more deeper analysis because a normal laptop computer or even a desktop computer might not have the power to do that. But having a large cloud-based platform crunching data from a large wide set of data opens up new different options for you to create different data insights. And don't take my word for it. We have great customers. For example, we have Van Move, which is a Dutch e-bike company. And they use, this, use a marketing data warehouse to run their marketing operations. So basically, what they did is that they centralized their historical data, basically because they had a lot of data from different sources coming in when they rolled out a new bike. And they started using Google BigQuery. And they found out that they could automize and modernize their data warehouse, remove a lot of manual work, and focus on creating more analysis on their data instead of collecting the data because they had everything running through automatically. And because they had a data warehouse, they could use all the data from different sources to create a full view of their customer journey. So. One move is a great example. You can go to supermetrics.com and read the full story there. So they are one example of a successful data warehouse, marketing data warehouse. And then, of course, in Canada, we have the Humberview Group, which is our other good client. So they basically had their own closed box reporting tool. It was basically like a suitable tool for a smaller amount of data. But they found out that when they wanted to do a full attribution for all of their sale pro sales processes, because they sold cars, so they wanted to find out which channels brought the most sales to a certain different retail chain location. So basically, they moved from Google Sheets to a data warehouse, and they could instantly build a model where they could attribute their full resale experience and see which customer actions happened in a which point. So that's the intro. And I'd like to let my colleague David take over with a live demo here. All right. Hi, everyone. David here. I'm just going to start sharing my screen. So I'm going to take over from Rico. Um, as Rico announced, I'll be responsible for the demo today. So just a quick agenda. Um, first, I will talk a little bit about myself, introduce myself uh, like Rico and Sumanta did before. Then I will just walk through the live demo. It will consist of three steps. First, how to set up a GCP project that is needed for you to take BigQuery into use, then how to get your marketing data into BigQuery, and then finally, how you can visualize that data in Data Studio. And then at the end, just a brief recap of what we did during the demo. So about myself, I said, I'm David, graduated with a Master of Science in Business Administration from the LMU in Munich, um, with focus on behavioral finance. So as you can see, 
not really strong marketing background. However, when I joined the Finnish national airline Finnair as business analyst, I was responsible for the web analytics of a 700 million e-com operation. And in the course of four years, um, I built out their um, entire you know, web tracking solution with uh, GA360 and the native BigQuery integration. So I became quite acquainted with the BigQuery product and how to model the raw data um, inside BigQuery and how to create um, powerful reports with um, you know millions or well tens of millions of rows of data in uh, powerful BI tools. And that sort of set me up to join Supermetrics um, as senior sales engineer responsible for our enterprise products, such as our API or BigQuery or Snowflake products. And enough about myself. Um, without further ado, I'm going to skip to a live demo. So now I'm just going to leave our uh, slide deck and go for a few tabs. So as announced before, I will show you how you can set up your GCP project. So you can, for example, go to cloud.google.com slash free. Um, that will allow you to start a free 90-day trial in the Google Cloud. So you can just click on get started for free. Then you will need to perform two steps. First is to select your Google account. And then to select your country and agree to the terms. Then click on continue. And then you will be asked to fill in your billing details, for example. So you can choose your account type, either if it's business or individual. And when you have the individual type um, selected, you just fill in your address, your postal code, maybe a phone number, and then your card details. And once you've filled everything in, you just click on start my free trial. And that will take you to a page that looks like this. So this is the welcome page in the Google Cloud Platform after you click on Start My Free Trial. And now we can proceed to the second step, which is pulling the data from your marketing platform into BigQuery. So how you can do that, you can just click on the Marketplace tab here on the left-hand side in the GCP platform. And then you can search for our connectors, so the Supermetrics connectors. So just going to search for that term. And then you will see a list of connectors that we currently support in BigQuery. So let's just grab the one from the top here, which is Microsoft Advertising, um, formerly known as Bing Ads. So you click on the connector. You just click on Enroll. And then it's going to enroll that connector in your GCP project. So let's just click on Enroll. That will take a minute and that will start a free 14 day trial at Supermetrics with that connector. And now you can start getting data from Bing Ads into BigQuery. So we will just click on configure transfer here. And that will take you to a transfer service. It seems like I have a little bit of demo effect here. So I'm just going to go to BigQuery. And once you're here in that view, you can just click on transfers here on the left-hand side. And then you can click on create transfer. And now you can select the Microsoft Advertising by Supermetrics as source. So that is a connector we just enrolled. Then you will give the transfer a name. I'm just gonna call it demo. You can define your scheduling options. You know, you can run your transfers on a daily basis, for example, and a set time. I'm just gonna select start now. Then you're gonna define the destination settings. So in my case, since I just created the trial in GCP, I'm just going to create a new data set. I'm just going to call it demo data set. You can define a location here. I'm just going to leave default and then you click on create data set. And then you can click on connect source, which will open a pop up window. And this is needed for you to authenticate in your Microsoft advertising service. So I will just select 
a Supermetrics team here that I've already set up. Then we'll check my license. Then we'll check if my user is already present, which is this one here. Otherwise, you will just need to click on add another user. That will take you to the Microsoft authentication flow in this case. And then it's going to just send you back. Then you click on continue. And then you just pick your Microsoft Ads ad accounts. So I'm just going to select one here, click on submit. And setup was successfully created. And now the pop up is closing. And then finally, you can just set up some notification options, such as emailings, um, in case you want to be notified if the transfer fails, for example. Um, I'm just going to leave that blank now. And then at the end, you just click on Save. And the transfers will start running immediately if you have selected Start Now as option. And now we're pulling two days of data from Microsoft Ads into BigQuery. Um, you can also define a larger um, amount of days to be transferred at, with each transfer, which is the refresh window. I'm just going to show it here. You can find it here under dataset ID. So you can select the value up to seven, I think, with the trial license. That just means you will pull in seven days of data with every day um, or with every transfer run you have scheduled, basically. And by default, that refresh window is two. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And another option that you should be aware of is the backfill feature. So you can click on more in the top right corner, schedule backfill. And with the trial license, you can backfill the last 14 days of data. So you have a bigger data set to work with. I'm just going to select the 7th of September until today. So start end date selected, click on OK. And then it's going to initiate the backfills. So let's refresh the page. And then you will see that the data is being transferred for those date for the date region selected. So as you can see here, now there's a list of data or transfers that are running at the moment. So this will take a few minutes. So I will just skip to the next tab on the right hand side and just show you how the data will look like in BigQuery once it's done with the transfers. And I will also show you how the data looks like for other data sources, such as Facebook ads or Google ads, for example. But basically, you would need to repeat the enrollment of the connectors and the transfer creation in the same way as we just did with Microsoft advertising. So now proceeding to the next tab, this is now our or my big BigQuery demo data set. So as you can see, there's a bunch of tables with the Bing ads prefix, then Facebook ads prefix, Google ads, and LinkedIn ads, for example, all in the same data set in BigQuery, all done with the um, in the same way as the transfers here. So for each of those sources, we just need to set up a transfer, and then it will export as a standard set of tables. Um, as you can see here, so there's an ad table, a campaign table, keyword table, et cetera. And the data contains um, a bunch of columns here. As you can see, there are quite a few in there for the add tables, for example, or the geo tables. And then what I did is just to combine the add table data from Bing ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, and LinkedIn ads, and just sum up the impressions, the clicks, the costs, and the conversions for each of those data sources. So it's a very simple SQL query um, that you can use in order to combine data from several ad platforms into one table. So very simple. So as you can see here, there's now the summarized data by date per platform, basically. However, um, you, will, you can also use, for example, join queries to combine the data with other data sources, let's say, for example, Google Analytics or um, other data sets such as your CRM data, for example, if you can somehow combine your ad data with your customer data or your financial data. And now that we have the data in BigQuery, 
what we can do is um, visualize the data in a very simple report in Data Studio using the BigQuery connector um, provided by Supermetrics, which will automatically blend the data from all those tables that we have here under the demo data set. So I will just proceed to the next tab here. So this is Data Studio. You can access it just by going to datastudio.google.com. And then you can click on blank report. That will create a new report. Then you can search for connectors. So let's search for BigQuery here. So there are two available connectors. One is the native BigQuery connector by Google, which you can use to select certain tables in your uh, BigQuery project or even write SQL queries to pull in a subset of your data into uh, Data Studio. But for the demo, I'm just going to use Google BigQuery's um, connector by Supermetrics, which um, doesn't require any coding whatsoever on your part to blend the data from your add data sources. So I'll just click on this one. Then it will connect to my Google account and ask me to select the BigQuery data set. So I have quite a few here. So I'm just going to select the demo data set that I just showed you in the other tab. Then it will ask for a list type. I will just select the full list type, but there are two other list types. The simplified field, this will just show you the unique column names across all the different um, tables that are available in that data set. And then the simplified list with join fields only will just generate a list of unique columns that can be joined across the different ad platforms. But for the sake of the demo, I will just keep the full list and then click on add. That's going to take a few moments. And then it will just ask me if I want to add, want to add that data to that report. And then we will be ready to go. And that will now import a few hundred columns from BigQuery. Okay, seems I have a little demo effect here, but just bear with me because I have already created a demo dashboard for this occasion. So as you can see here, this is connected to a demo data set in BigQuery. So you can see the Google Ads, Facebook Ads uh, data, also LinkedIn Ads and Microsoft Advertising. And then you can see cost, impressions, clicks. Uh, cost per clicks, uh, cost per mail, uh, and click-through rates, for example. And then you can also visualize the data across the ad platforms. So this, for example, shows clicks and costs. And as you can see, there's a clear correlation between uh, your spend and the amount of clicks generated by your ad platforms. Um, may I just showcase you that this is connected to the demo data set. I'll just click on Edit Connection. And as you can see here, it's connected to the demo data set, uses the full field list. And let's just go back. And this is basically um, how you can visualize your BigQuery data um, without any coding whatsoever. So as you see, you can set up transfers just by performing a few clicks um, by using the Supermetrics connector. And then you can visualize the data again without any SQL coding whatsoever in Data Studio using the Supermetrics uh, connector for Data Studio or for BigQuery actually. And that's more or less it from my side um, in regards to a live demo. Um, of course, you can also use the um, BigQuery um, connector um, provided by Google to write, for example, a SQL query to fetch data into Data Studio. But um, we can also go into any questions later on if you have anything. Um, but now I will just go back to the slide deck and um, go through the summary. So what we did was just set up the GCP project to use BigQuery. Um, then we got the marketing data into BigQuery just by starting a 14-day trial. Um, by going to the marketplace and rolling the connectors. Then we created a transfer for Microsoft Advertising. And then we visualized the data in Data Studio with the Supermetrics uh, connector for BigQuery. And 
Then um, other use cases of how you can use, um, you know, your marketing data in BigQuery um, is to combine your ad data with other data sources, let's say Google Analytics or um, CRM data or financial data, or you could even use um, BigQuery ML, which is um, a machine learning product that you get out of the box when you use BigQuery. And you can use it, for example, to um, forecast the efficiency of your ad efforts, for example. So you can establish you know, a connection between your spend and uh, click or conversion behavior, for example, of the customers by running linear regressions and such. Um, but that's more or less it from my side. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, but if you don't have any questions, then I will just uh, give the ball back to Riku and he can continue from here on out. Rico, are you still with us? Yes, I am. So let's open the floor for any questions you might have. So feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question. We have our experts here today. Uh, I have a question. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. we can. Hey, uh, so my name is Aru. I, I lead uh, the data science unit for a small fintech startup in Stockholm. Uh, the question is more uh, around, as a general uh, question, I guess there's no right answer. Is your product geared more towards, let's say, marketing teams that don't necessarily have like high degree of technical experience, but they want to dig deeper into the data and visualize stuff neatly, et cetera? Or is it more for more advanced technical teams to make their work easier? Or uh, does it offer use cases for both? Rico, I guess I can take one. Um, sure. Practically, we can we can cater to um, both both types of customers. So um, as I said before, I mean, this was just a demo to showcase that you can set up your marketing data warehouse without any coding, really. But of course, once the data is in BigQuery, you can use it for any sort of advanced use case that you can think of. I mean, you can use BigQuery ML or you can use, you know, um, Dockerist Python scripts, for example, that you can orchestrate in the Google Cloud to run, for example, advanced analytics on your um, marketing data, for example, or any data that you can pull into um, BigQuery, basically. So um, both cases can be covered basically by our products as well. Um, that being said, though, we don't support any sort of raw level exports of data. So, for example, if you would use our Google Analytics connector, you wouldn't achieve the same kind of granularity of data than with the GA360 native integration to uh, BigQuery, for example, where you can actually get very deep into the data to actual single individual interactions performed by single customers, for example. Uh, does that answer your question? Uh, yes, and uh, one specific follow-up question. Do you guys integrate with MailChimp? Yes, we do, I think. Hariko, please correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, we do have a connection. Okay, yeah, that, that helps. So that answers both questions. Thank you. No problem. Any other uh, questions? Yeah, hi, uh, um, Sven here from, from Denmark. Um, I have a question regarding um, Regarding your your plugin for for BigQuery, uh, is it correctly understood that you have to pay for like each individual uh, uh, like tool? So, for example, if you wanted the Microsoft advertising, you want a Facebook ads, LinkedIn, and 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 so forth. Do you need to pay for those individually, or is there a kind of a BigQuery package in which you get all in one data source, uh, so you can visualize them all under one roof or? Um, we do offer package pricing, but um, you can, uh, you know, contact us and our sales team will send you uh, more information. But yeah, we do um, offer both. We can buy um, connectors individually, but you can also buy them uh, in, a, in a package, basically. Um, also, is there, um, do you offer like onboarding as well, like uh, not just tutorials, but like onboarding of, uh, for example, we, we're a small team and so I'm the marketing uh, manager, but uh, I also got the, the data uh, analyst hat 
so I'm learning a lot of that uh, uh, as I go, but it's not really my specialty. So, um, for example, if you have like onboarding that, of, of course, is premium, is that that's a thing you have as well? Or? Yeah, we, we offer onboarding it as part of the package, basically. So um, if you would um, purchase our BigQuery package, then onboarding would be included there as part of the package. OK. Great, thanks. No problem. Any further questions? All right, um, if there aren't any further questions, I guess, Rico, you can probably proceed. But if any one of you, um, you know, comes up with any further questions, um, feel free to reach out to um, Supermetrics and then um, we will see what we can do. OK, thanks. Thanks for all the questions. Hopefully you got your answers. Uh, from Supermetrics side, we'd like to thank you for taking part in this session. Uh, just a few things of note. First of all, we have a Supermetrics channel program where you can basically work with us to improve your business and create more value for your customers. For example, agent. if you're an agency, you could sell Supermetrics for BigQuery as part of your service packages. We also have an affiliate program for our other products where you can get a small commission for selling and promoting our products. And then, of course, we have our new Supermetrics for Snowflake product that just launched. So if you're in the Snowflake environment, you might be interested in that. And of course, if you want to hear more about Supermetrics for BigQuery, you can always go and book a demo on our web page and have a chat with our experts about your expectations. But from Supermetrics side, and for David and myself, I would like to thank you.